Hey, so I wanted to tell you about DaVinci Resolve 14. Uh, let's go ahead and just jump in here. So DaVinci Resolve 14, let's actually save this and start a new project. And we'll call this Test DaVinci Teaching Project. All right, so basically I start out here in the edit panel and just pull up any clips that I want, just drag and drop them in, pretty similar to Premiere Pro. Um, clips have a different frame rate than the current project settings. I always go ahead and just change that. That way, uh, if you're shooting in 4K, 1080p, 30 frames, 60 frames per second, it will automatically change that. So now that we have our clips in, you can just double click on one of these, pull it up, and you can scrub through just like Premiere Pro, and you can mark your in and out point. So if you select I for your in, and here looks good for an out, oh, end point and O for out point. And then we can just drag and drop this down here into the timeline. All right, we're looking pretty good. Just click right up here and you can scrub through your video. All right, let's pull another clip here. Again, we'll mark our end point, space bar to play. Mark your out point, space bar to pause. And just like Premiere Pro, you can grab just the audio, just the video, or you can grab everything. And you see here I left a space in between. So just highlight that in between, left click on it uh, to highlight it, and then right click, ripple delete, boom. They just snap right together. So that is pretty cool. Okay, so Let's say I want to fade out one of these. You have one of these little markers at the beginning and end of each clip. Just pull that in, that's going to fade. All right, pretty simple. You don't have to use a fade in or, or fade out um, video transition. So that's built right in. If you want to shorten or lengthen a clip, super simple. Okay, so those are the basics of your video editing. You've got your trim tool and a couple other tools that I haven't gotten into yet. And color editing. Switch over here to that color tab. Um, if you want to sharpen, if you use the radius, just go ahead and pull this down. That's going to sharpen up your clip. We'll go really extreme, really blurry, okay? So if you want to reset it, this little refresh button, boom, gets you right back to, to your level point. I'm just going to sharpen this a little bit, not too much. Um, bottom left over here, this is where you can do the, uh, change the color points for like highlights and shadows. Um, if you just want to increase your saturation or your hue, just hover over these, left click, and you can really change that. All right, let's see. Um, yeah, not sure how to get that back without just typing it in. So um, uh, you have different areas here, so you can really get as granular as you want to with your color editing. So a lot of times I like to change the highlights and the shadows. So still in the color panel, if you switch over to two, all right, so you've got your shadows and your highlights. Just drag these, you can pull the highlights down, you can bring them up, um, pretty much anything you want to do. Let's set that back to zero. Um, do that again with shadows so you can see. All right, so get that back to zero. Oh, zero, okay. 
All right, so let's say we went ahead, we color graded, um, we, we sharpened, we've got the video looking how we want. If you wanna do any audio, you can hop over here to Fairlight. Fairlight is the built-in audio editor. So just highlight the, the audio track that you want and you've got your equalizer over here. Uh, very important, if you wanna change these parameters, just click the equalizer and, uh, and, and you can really get in and shape your audio how you want to right here. All right, so let's come back over to the edit tab. Um, all right, so we've got everything the way that we want it. Let's say we want to export now. So the way to do that, come over to the deliver tab. And here's your uh, settings to basically render and export the video. It's called deliver in DaVinci. Um, I always like to go with the MP4 um, custom. If we scroll down here, we'll see we're at 1920 by 1080. Um, or if, if you want to do a 2K or, I'm sorry, that's 4K maybe? Not sure. Um, you could do that, but I, I only shot in 1080p, so I'm going to stick with 1080. All right. Um, if you go into advanced settings, that's where if you look this up online, you can basically change how you want it. So I, I don't do this unless... Um, I haven't really looked into it too much, but it, I think this is just for uh, if you want to shoot like a widescreen video um, and kind of change the aspect ratio of the um, frame itself. So, all right, so we've got it how we want it. All right, we've got it in deliver. Um, what we need to do is add to render queue. And I'm just going to put in videos. Okay. All right, so now we see uh, this project in our render queue. Go ahead and start render. Watch how fast this is. All right, so it is just chugging right along. I'm going to uh, just edit this video and cut to the end of it. All right, so uh, we just finished rendering the video, and it has completed here. It really did complete in a minute and 37 seconds. With Premiere Pro, when I would render and export a video, it would take so much longer for whatever reason. Not sure why. Um, so the, the video itself was a minute and six seconds long. Render took a minute and 37 seconds. Pretty good. All right, so let's hop in here, go into videos and we can see we have it exported. So I'm just gonna rename this DaVinci Test Export. And let's open this up. All right. So there we go. Pretty good. <laughs> see my focus was off over here. I'm testing out manual focusing on my video camera. Riley is a lot more in focus than I am. But anyways, you get the gist. There you have it. And I hope that helps learn a little bit about DaVinci Resolve 14. See you next time.